Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 16 June 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Features Editor Nadine James writes that the mining industry's inability to absorb youth raises questions about sustainability. High youth unemployment combined with a national skills shortage and the fact that just over a third of the population is between 15 and 35 years old means that South Africa is barreling towards an untenable situation. Youth unemployment remains catastrophically high. Therefore, industries with significant growth potential, such as mining, must do more to attract and retain youth employees. The engineering news features focus on rail infrastructure, where a high-speed rail operator unpacks its diversification plans. Youth in industry and mining, where STEM education and bursaries unlock opportunities and empower the youth and roads and bridges, where extreme weather erodes road networks. The Mining Weekly features focus on quarrying, where a company expands its blast enhancement platform to include quarries. This week's business leader is Temba Baloy, MD of Voith Turbo South Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, a lack of investment into South Africa's grid over the past number of decades is at last being recognized as a major constraint to the integration of much needed new generation, such as the wind projects left stranded during a recent procurement round. We hope you enjoy this edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.